The Netherlands is a strong country when it comes to roller coasters. They currently have 61 in total, but their lineup is dominated by three parks, Efteling, Wallaby Holland, and Toverland. In this video, I will rank my personal favorite 15 roller coasters in the country. Before starting the list, I want to note a few things. One, I will have two honorable mentions on this list. One will be for a defunct ride I experienced before it closed. Another will be for a clone that I've ridden elsewhere. Two, I have separate reviews already published on the channel for most of these rides if you want more in-depth thoughts. Starting off the list at number 15 is Python and Efteling. This Vacoma multi-looper was completely retracted a few years ago by CSM, so this classic now runs smooth as glass. The two vertical loops have nice positive Gs, but the subsequent corkscrews and final helix are on the milder side. Number 14, Vogel Rocket Efteling. This is an indoor Vacoma coaster guarded by a giant and angry bird. The coaster itself is a twisted mess in the dark. There isn't too much to see beyond some lights and dimly lit figures, but the darkness only helps the sense of speed. The first half has some solidly forceful turns and sudden dips, but the second half is on the tamer side. Up next would be Bob at Efteling. This Intamin bobsled was removed, but it was one of the more memorable ones out there. This one was uniquely situated in the woods. This one ran with single cars, and it was possible for the bobsled to momentarily jump the track in a few dips, which was a pretty freaky sensation. And I like how the Intamin versions have smoother troths than the more common mock models. Up next would likely be Falcon at Dunrel. This is the one ride on the list that I have not ridden, but it is an exact clone of Untamed at Canopy Lake Park. This Gerslauer Eurofighter is a beyond vertical drop with great ejector airtime. The vertical loop and barrel roll offer fun hang time, but this ride operates with over-the-shoulder restraints. This is problematic on the directional changes, particularly on the cutback and helix finale. Number 13, Booster Bike at Toverland. This Vacoma motorbike coaster starts off with a punchy launch. Then a majority of the layout consists of these smooth and graceful turns. They aren't forceful, but the unique riding position keeps me engaged. Then the return rides a few bunny hills with a smidge of airtime, which is different than most moto coasters. Number 12, Express at Wallaby Holland. This is a clone of Rock and Roller Coaster, just outdoors. The highlight is still the start. The initial launch offers a nice burst of speed. Then the first two inversions offer excellent positive Gs. The rest of the layout does a lot of meandering, but it is smoother than most Vacoma thrill coasters from this time period. While the layout is outdoors, the queue line and boarding experience feature some creepy subway theming that seems fit for a haunt. Number 11, Dwerval Wind at Toverland. This is a solid mock spinner. The layout is nicely paced, mixing some semi-forceful turns and small pops of airtime. The area is well landscaped as well, and the whole experience is plussed by an enchanting onboard musical score. Number 10, Formula X at Dreevleet. This is a small but feisty Mauer X car coaster. This ride starts off with a shockingly strong LSM launch. Then there's a forceful dive loop, a bunny hill with a nice ejector pop, and a super slow corkscrew with incredible hang time. The other elements are just okay though, and unlike some X-Car coasters, this one is smooth the whole way through. Number 9, Vlyhender Hollander at Efteling. This water coaster is such an atmospheric experience. You have a long and creepy dark ride sequence through a storm at the start. It is so misty you cannot see anything until there's a big reveal several minutes in. Then it switches over to a coaster. There's a zippy drop indoors, but a majority of the thrills take place outdoors. These elements are mild, but they're more action-packed than your standard flume. Then the final splashdown is shockingly dry for a water ride. Number 8. Gold Rush at Slagharan. This Gerslauer Infinity Coaster does a little bit of everything. It has a punchy swing launch sequence at the start. 
The stall in the dive loop offers epic hang time. Then the main layout is short but forceful, offering some airtime and laterals. I particularly love the intense laterals on the final dive loop. It feels like you'll be flung out of the vehicle. And this ride tracked well, unlike some Gerslauers out there. Number 7. Phoenix at Toverland. This is one of the more intense B&M wing coasters. The ride starts off with a wing over drop that rapidly switches from hang time to positives. That's immediately followed by an epic bunny hill, a fine Immelman, and an ultra forceful low turn that's a grey out moment for me. Then there's a whippy zero G roll. The finale is just okay, and this ride is on the shorter side, but it does have some really cool theming leading up to the main layout. Number 6. Baron 1898 at Efteling. This is a highly themed B&M dive coaster. The ride features a custom support structure, and the ride begins with a chilling pre-show and a dark ride sequence. Then the main layout may be shorter than the other dive coasters, but it has some great elements. The first drop is good floater air time as you dive into an underground tunnel. The Immelman is not too strong, but the zero G roll has wonderful hang time. The Helix is good positive G's, and the final Bunny Hill has some air time. Number 5. Joris and Drock at Efteling. This is a set of dueling wood coasters from GCI. The racing element is very well executed, as the two tracks are side by side for a large chunk of the layout, and the elements are delightful as well. The straight first drop is good floater airtime, and the smaller hills offer briefer but more abrupt pops of airtime. The ride does fade towards the very end, but the first three quarters are great. Just make sure to ride in the very front or very back. There's a reason those rows have higher height requirements. Number 4. Troy at Toverland. This is another GCI wood coaster, but this one is larger and far wilder. This one hauls start to finish, especially if you ride on a hot summer day. All the directional changes offer laterals. Then there's plenty of airtime as well. The smaller bunny hills offer sustained floater. Then the larger turnarounds and dips offer quicker pops of airtime. The ride does have a very noticeable shuffle, but the well-cushioned trains keep the experience comfortable. Number 3. Lost Gravity at Wallaby Holland. The original mock Big Dipper has a lovely layout. The first drop is absolutely wicked on the edge seats. The lateral and ejector airtime combination is intense. Then the coaster is a half dozen other hills, also offering ejector airtime. And there are two hang time filled inversions in the second half to also get you out of your seat. The one con with this coaster that is very shaky, and it can take a toll if you marathon it. Number 2. Goliath at Wallaby Holland. This intimate mega coaster starts in a high note. The first drop in Camelback offers strong ejector airtime. Then the sideways Stengel dive is a really cool visual. The middle of the layout is a bit of a lull with the twists and helixes above the water, but the finale returns to greatness with a series of bunny hills, all of which offer good negative Gs. I do wish this coaster is more consistent throughout, but the start and end are fantastic. And coming in number one is Untamed at Wallaby Holland. This RMC hybrid coaster is an airtime buffet. The outward leg has some larger hills with sustained airtime but a majority of the hills offer intense and violent ejector pops. I especially love the wild sequence on the return run as you charge through the structure. Then the ride also has the most inversions of any RMC with 5. I absolutely love the double stall at the start that offers spectacular hang time. This dynamic ride is arguably the best in all of Europe. It is perfectly paced. So those are my top favorite 15 roller coasters in the Netherlands. What are your favorite coasters in the country, or thoughts on any of the rides I mentioned? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.